Today's lecture is on the thoracic diaphragm. Now we know that the diaphragm is a special flat muscle which separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. Now this muscle specializes in assisting with respiration. When we inhale or inspire, the diaphragm contracts and pulls down on the lungs which expands their volume, thereby increasing the amount of air inside the thoracic cavity. Now, what is important about the diaphragm are a bunch of structures which traverse through and puncture this specialized muscle. Now, if we look at this schematic, we can see roughly here that we are looking at this as though there has been a coronal section cut through both the thoracic and abdominal cavities and we have removed all of the important organs so that we could see the posterior aspect of the body cavity. So here we have the thoracic cage and its vertebrae. Here we've got the abdominal cage. We have the psoas major muscles, the vertebral column, and here is the diaphragm. Now, in the diaphragm there are a group of specialized muscles which go all around these different vessels which puncture it. Here we have the left crude of the diaphragm and these two muscles which envelop are known as the right crus of the diaphragm. Now, this white section is known as the central tendon of the diaphragm. So we have a, a variety of structures which pierce the diaphragm and they're clinically important. So here we have the inferior vena cava, the esophagus, and the aorta. Now, each of these pierces the diaphragm at a different vertebral level, as we have mentioned here, inferior vena cava at T8, the esophagus at T10, and the aorta at T12. Now, there's a nice little mnemonic here to help you remember that, and that's Voices of America. Voices for inferior vena cava. That should be there. O for esophagus in the classic British spelling, starting with the O. And America stands for aorta. And we can just remember T8, T10, and T12 for Voices of America, vena cava, esophagus, aorta. And that is the thoracic diaphragm.